Hi, I hope today finds you well and uh, healthy and dealing with the strangeness in the world in the best ways that you can, as we're all learning to do. You know, today I wanted to share with you a little bit about a journey that I was just on that I'm recently returned back from and more because it has these metaphorical implications as well. So uh, I took a vacation with my husband and we live here in central Oregon. And so we took a little drive uh, with our little travel trailer up the Oregon and Washington coast almost all the way to Canada. So it was a really nice adventure. We were gone for a few weeks. And on this adventure, we allowed ourselves time and uh, the smallest of agendas, we kind of had a loose idea of where we were going and where we would end up and when we would need to be home. But everything else was really loose. And so we allowed ourselves to explore um, some of the side roads and back roads and those country roads that must have some kind of a destination in there someplace, but we didn't have one um, in mind. And we came across small towns and great people and we allowed ourselves to imagine so many different ways and choices that we could have made in our life, different journeys that we could have taken, different places that we might have lived different occupations we might have had. So we could have been um, fishermen, we could have been um, um, digging for um, clams and crabs and so many different things that we came across on this, um, on this journey. And it was fun to explore all of that. So we were gone, as I said, a, a few weeks. We were a little bit lazy here and there. We weren't really thinking about too much um, until maybe about um, three days before it was time to come home. Then all of a sudden we were looking at maps and where else can we go? And do we have time to do this or that? And uh, all of a sudden it felt like we were trying to fit a lot of vacation into a small amount of time. And then before we knew it, it was time to come home. Although it took us almost two weeks to get to where we were going, when we looked at the map and figured out how long it would take us to get home, if we took the most direct route, um, we actually got home in about eight hours. So imagine that, almost two weeks, you know, winding our way across the coast, eight hours to get home. And so maybe you can follow me here. The metaphor, which I've been thinking about all along, was really not lost on me. That like life, we are on the outbound journey, exploring and taking side roads, and not necessarily purposeful about where we're going or when we might need to come back. And we can be lazy at times and not work on ourselves or on anything else. And then we get this inner nudge, this urging that says, home is calling. And you just need to heed the call to go home. Home is calling and we want to go home or we want to go to the center of our being. And then things begin to change. Um, they become more purposeful, we become more energetic. We're looking at maps, we're looking at where's the shortest distance, what did we miss? What might we do on our next time around? Um, what can we still do now? And, um, and how, can we, how can we do it? So it really is the same with our spiritual journey, our life journey. We take our time. And then all of a sudden, sometimes there is an urgency about it. Something else is calling, a purpose is calling, or uh, a job, a career, our family is calling to us. And we respond to that call in a different way than when we were meandering. So as a metaphor for life, we came home the fastest way that we could 
and it was great to know that we could get home fast and safely and all of those things. So that's a little bit how I describe um, the Wisdom Rising class that I'll be teaching coming up soon here within the next week. We at times go slowly and exploring and reading books and exploring spirituality and thinking about things. And then at a certain point, we realize that maybe we don't want to be on the outbound journey anymore, or what I call the path of accumulated knowledge, accumulating experiences, um, accumulating stuff, things, um, and we wanna go home. And we, when we wanna go home or to the center of our being or to a self-realization place or to that wisdom place, at that point, we want to get there by the most direct route possible. And that's what wisdom rising is as well. Wisdom rises on its own when we allow or pay attention to the causes and conditions that we can surround ourselves with instead of the after effects of life or the events of life that are pulling us outward. So the inbound journey is one of letting go is one way we could say it, but sometimes it's also just letting be. And when we let be, we let our being be and recognize its own wisdom and then watch, just really sit back and watch how the conditions around us can rise on their own. So there's a few days left to go until, um, until Wisdom Rising begins. It starts on Friday, September 4th. And if you've already signed up for the class, then welcome. I can't wait to see you, be with you um, in a few days, communicate with you, share and exchange messages with you for the next six weeks or so. And if you haven't signed up yet, there are a few places left and you are still welcome to um, join. I'd love to have you. So um, I'm glad to be back home and I'm glad to be with you. And I truly hope that you are well um, to the best of your ability, uh, enjoying the strange roller coaster ride that we're on, paying close attention to your body's wisdom, health and wealth of being and, um, and being of benefit to others in your world as well, because the world truly does need each and every one of us right now. And all of our accumulated knowledge, experiences, and wealth of wisdom that we all are, our big heart um, for the earth, for humanity, and for the world. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.